Okay, so <clears throat> last night we had uh, a couple calves born, and uh, number 11 here was uh, in labor all day yesterday, so we uh, were supposed to get a bunch of rain overnight, which we did, and uh, so we threw her in the barn here last, uh, last evening, and uh, when I come out to check on everything uh, at... Uh, Two o'clock this morning. Um, she had had uh, she had had a bull calf uh, in the pen here, but uh, it was born dead. It looked like uh, sometime yesterday, probably the placenta had let go and um, she had lost the calf. So anyway, um, we got this uh, this Holstein calf here, a little bull calf, and. Uh, we got uh, the calf to get on her here and get sucking um, so that uh, she doesn't end up wrecking her bag or that we don't have to milk her out. Um, anyway, I don't know how well you guys can see, but uh, what we ended up having to do, uh, she wouldn't take the calf otherwise, was we had to skin the, uh, the calf that uh, was born dead. Uh, I skinned them out and uh, I just tied on the hide on the uh, Holstein calf here and uh, and it's it's letting she's letting them suck now so we tried putting them in uh, just by rubbing the uh, afterbirth all over them but uh, that didn't cut it she was uh, kicking at them and wouldn't let them suck but uh, once we got the um, hide on them from the the, calf, the dead calf, then uh, she's taking them uh, really well. So he's been sucking here for the last 10 minutes, and uh, he's about a week old. And uh, so, yeah, it's not a pretty job. You know, you hate doing it, but uh, I mean, it it uh, it worked out great. Now she can raise this calf and. Uh, you know, she's not uh, gonna end up getting a bad bag or anything. And uh, we'll have this calf uh, raised here on the farm. So, anyway, it's uh, not the greatest thing that you have to do, but uh, when it comes to farming, sometimes you just gotta do uh, stuff you don't necessarily wanna do. But anyway, so there he is. Okay, just a quick little caution here. What I'm about to show you is the uh, afterbirth. Um, there's two afterbirths in this uh, wheelbarrow here, and uh, so just caution. It's it's uh, pretty graphic, but so if you don't want to see it, don't continue to watch right now. So you can see <clears throat> the afterbirth here on the right is from the other calf that was born in the night. That's outside, and she's doing great. Both mom and calf are. Uh, doing awesome um, the afterbirth on the left here is from the calf that was born dead um, and the difference being I don't know can't probably see it that great on camera but the afterbirth on the right you know has uh, has a lot of fluid it's uh, got lots of blood uh, throughout uh, it's good coloring the the one on the left here you can see it's just a white uh, mucus there's no blood um, it's just uh, there wasn't a whole lot of fluid uh, so what we think happened was that the um, the lining had let go inside and uh, before the calf was born and uh, and then blood and, and air supply couldn't get to the calf and, and ended up dying but anyway just a quick little uh, side view here of, of so now I'm just outside here with the uh, rest of the herd. I'll show you the other calf that was born there last night. She's over in one of the corral pens, but just show you some of the uh, other calves here that are doing good. A little guy there tucked up against the feeder with some hay over top. <clears throat> uh, number nine, right there. And this big beauty are our uh, 
last two to cab. Um, yeah. So yeah, it was a bummer last night to come out and uh, and find that uh, that dead calf, but uh, make the best of it. And there's a couple more calves there. Anyway, uh, I'll take you over and show you the the new heifer that was born in there last night. So we're just heading over here, and there's that heifer calf that was born last night. Um, pretty sure we're going to be keeping her. Uh, so far, there's only uh, two options. We had three heifers born. But, uh, no, I can get her. But the one is uh, the wrong color. She's uh, got a little limo in her, so we won't be keeping her. But this one here, I think, is going to be a keeper. Uh, yeah, you're a good mummy. Eh? So I'm going to get her up here and get mom and baby moved back in uh, to the barnyard with the... Uh, with the rest of the herd. They're both doing good. And so we'll uh, get at her. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Okay, so we got her moved over here. Now we're just bringing in the scale and we're going to get a weight on her. So we got her on the scale. Subtract the four pounds, 78 pounds. Oh, so there we go, 78 pounds, perfect size, nice and healthy. Okay, so now we just got to get a shot of selenium in her. And uh, get a tag. What are we doing for the other one? Selenium and tag? There we go. Okay. Well, both Jess and I have been up since uh, 2 o'clock this morning. Uh, dealing with calves. And then we couldn't get back to sleep. And we had to go and get the other calf. And, and then PB was up all night. Hey, hide! So, we only got a few hours sleep there last night, and, uh, oh, you got money! Yeah, Nana, Nana gave you money? Yeah. Oh, my. Alrighty.